Hello there, morons! Welcome back to another Japanese for Morons. This is uh, the, I think, seventh day. I'm a little behind schedule. I've had computer problems, but I'm back. And today we're going to do a J News. This is a tough one. But uh, learning Japanese is difficult uh, when it comes to listening. Well, you know, it's, it's not so difficult. It's that you just need exposure. So, my theory with uh, language, very briefly, <laughs> is that. It's not difficult, it's just practice. So you have to put in the practice. One of the most difficult things to improve is your listening. And the best way to improve your listening is to just listen again and again and again. Now, ideally, um, you're gonna listen every day by yourself. However, you're watching this video because you want some help. So what we're gonna do in this video is kind of drag it out a little bit, hopefully get you to be able to listen to all the words. Now, uh, I've done a very short, I've picked a very short uh, news program today about a fire that actually happened nearby. I came across this fire because I was watching R. Gary, another uh, Nagoya-based YouTuber, and he was in Komaki and he, he saw this fire and I did a little research and I, there's actually a, an article about it. And it's not that long, This is, but this is about a third of the article and it's quite, I would say, difficult if you're a, a new student. However, um, the point today is not simply to learn vocabulary. Of course, we will pick up a lot of vocabulary, uh, but it's also just to be able to hear. So I'm going to try and take, I'm going to show you a technique and with just um, these, how many sentences we have here? How many lines? One, two, three, four, five, six, about seven lines here. Okay, we're going to go through this a little bit, little by little. Um, I suggest you grab a cup of coffee uh, or some water, whatever. Uh, don't drink beer when you're, when you're studying with me, <laughs> if you really want to retain this. Unless you happen to be uh, drunk all the time. It's actually proven that if you study when you're drunk and then you take the test when you're drunk, you have a better chance of actually uh, remembering what you studied when you were drunk. Don't ask me how. Uh, anyway, I read that a long time ago. If you'd like to dispute that, go ahead and go, go for it in the comments. Anyway, let's get to today's um, listening. And the way I'll do it is first we'll just uh, shock you by listening to the actual video. Now, I've got, I'm using this uh, mic here, which I have to click the mute button. Exactly. It takes, sometimes it's tricky, so just a minute. But anyway, let's listen to the first two sentences. I will use this over here on the left to highlight what I'm, um, what you are hearing. You're only going to hear this much, okay? Let's try it. Ready? And... <laughs> 今日午前2時頃、3階建ての工場の2階部分から火が出ていると通りがかった人から消防に通報がありました。消防車など22台が出動していますが、出火から16時間近く経った現在も鎮火には至っていません。また、消火活動をしていた51歳の男性消防士が
Uh, of course, uh, I live in Aichi Ken, and Komaki Si is in Aichi Ken. Aichi is a prefecture. In Japan, we have prefectures, not states. So that would be Aichi Prefecture. Aichi Prefecture, Komaki Si in Komaki City. And then we have a very tough um, proper noun. And you, you, there's no way to really tell how this is pronounced until you meet a local. Um, or someone says it. Now, this woman, the woman, the announcer, pronounced it this way. I looked it up and I got a different pronunciation. Anyway, we'll go through it. This is kawa, right? Sometimes pronounced ka, means river. This is uh, chi, kawa chi. Also pronounced uchi. I've, I would never pronounce it chi, but in, because it's a proper name, it takes on its own special pronunciation. So kawa chi, ya. This is the same ya as the, as the ya in Nagoya, and which we talked about in previous lessons. Whenever you have the Nagoya, Nagoya City. Uh, whenever you have ya at the end of something, like we talked about onigiri ya in, in a previous lesson, remember that? Onigiri ya, which is, whoops, we want to use this kanji, which means onigiri maker or onigiri store. Onigiri ya would be uh, rice ball maker or rice ball store, right? But anyway, ya means uh, some kind of store or maker at the end. But in this case, it's just name. So anyway, it's let's go again. Ut, uh, kawachi ya. And this is uh, Shinda, no, no, Shinden, I'm sorry, Shinden. It could be pronounced Shinta or Shin or, or um, Arata, Arat, Aratata. Anyway, in this, in this case, it's Shinden, as you can see. Um, so, one more time. Uh, Kawachiya Shinden, right? And that's the name of the neighborhood where this happened. Okay. Ni Aru, this, these are extra. I should put these in... in parentheses to indicate that they are extra information that you do not need for this particular lesson, okay? Yes, right. This is just extra information for you. It's in, It's useful information, oops. It's useful information, of course, because you are studying Japanese. Uh, but anyway, and this is the other, yeah, kaji over here. We'll just put that in, par in, par in uh, par parentheses, okay. So, ni uh, aru, that indicates where a location is, where where something's located, where a location is. <laughs> um, by the way, did you did you notice the word located has actually no meaning? Like Nagoya is located in Aichi. Nagoya is in Aichi. It's the same thing. It's one of those fancy words. Okay, uh, but it indicates the location of something. Ni aru. So let's go back again, right? Kaji ga atta. There was a fire. Noa. Where it happened? Komaki shi in Komaki city. Uh, Kawachi ya shinden ni aru. Uh, ni aru means it is in this neighborhood in Komaki City, and this is where the fire happened. Now we get to another new word, and this is again a proper noun, and that one is kunimori kagaku. Kunimori kagaku. Uh, that's a city. I mean, a country. Sorry, kuni. Mori is when something is um, doing well, like uh, flourishing. Kunimori kagaku, and that's chemistry. So this is some kind of plant, and it's no indicates where something uh, the it's like an apostrophe s. So the something of something. So the kunimori chemistry factory would be kunimori kagaku no kojo, kojo, and that indicates where something happens. So at the factory. So that is basically at right. Uh, Uchi de would be at my house. Uh, koko de means at here. Koko de. Asoko de over there. Okay, let's go back again. Takes a while here. Okay, so. Kaji gatta no wa komaki shi kawachi ya shinden ni aru kunimori kagaku no kojo de. So, at the factory of kunimori kagaku, kunimori uh, chemistry. Which is in this neighborhood, uh, Kawachi, Kawachi, Sha, Kawachi ya Shinden, in Komaki City, there was a fire. All right, let's go on. Okay, little by little, right? Nanoka. Uh, nanoka is the seventh of the month. I don't know if they say Nanoka or Kyo, because this sometimes they, they give the day. Let's, let's listen again, see what they said. Ready? So I was wrong. Um, the actual article says Kyo, but in this case, I mean, it says Nanoka, but in this case, it's Kyo today. So, Q 
今日綺麗今日2時ごろ、at around 2 o'clock, 2 a.m. ごろ is about。2時 is、I'm sorry、2時 is 2 o'clock。午前2時 is in the morning、um,。Yeah, in the morning,、uh, before noon。So if it's 2 a.m. before、it's 2 before noon, it must be 2 a.m. ごろ、around。三階建て、三、uh, 階、when it it's alone、三、uh, 階、it's a three story building or the third floor。And tate means building, but when you put them together, sangai、uh, tate, a building of three stories, or sangai tate no? Oh no, no, sangai builds on the third, on a third story, I thought it was a third story, sangai tate no, a third, a three story buildings, and here we have a building, apostrophe s, because you see the no at the end there? That indicates there's an apostrophe s there, right? So, Sangai Tate, th a three story building, no, on. On the three story buildings, Kojo no, Nikai. So, on the second floor, on the second floor of the factory of a three story building,、uh, the baboon is the part. So, at, at some part of the second floor, on a section, an area on the second floor of the factory of a three, three story building, I guess the factory is three stories tall, Kara, from, from that, Higa d e t e r u Fire was coming out. So fire was coming out of that area. And, Torigagata, he thought, this is a word that I learned a long time ago, but I forgot and I had to look, up, look it up again.、Uh, which happens a lot, you know,、uh, language is、um, just exposure. So, Tori, which we talked about the other day, remember, Tori means uh, when you, uh, we talked about the, the ways,、um, uh, for example, Omota Tori or Keikakudori, Keikakudori,、uh, in a previous lesson, about three lessons back. Means、um, going in that direction, but actually,、uh, it also means street, right? Just street, tori. Now, in this case, tori gagatta hito means a passerby. Tori gagatta hito, a passerby. From, from a passerby, shobo fire department, ni to indicates direction, tsuhogari, there was a report. So basically, a passerby called the fire department. And then, shobo sha, fire engines. Sha, remember the,、uh, we talked about this in, the, in the, my,、uh, my, I think my video with my son the other day. Sha means kuruma or car, right?、Uh, so, shobo is fire department, or shobo, yeah, shobo is fire department, but shobo, shobo sha would be fire engine. So, the big red truck. Nado, et cetera. Nado, nado is a great word to know if you don't know this one.、Um, so, some of you who are watching this are probably going to be、uh, thinking this is tough. But there's a lot of stuff that you will, you will be able to take away, even if it's your first time. So, nado, for example, is one of those words. Nado, nado, nado is etc., etc., etc. Okay. Niju ni, niju ni dai. Dai is a counter that you use for cars. So, I put a little extra information here. But in this case, they're saying niju ni, niju ni dai. 20, in this case, 22 trucks. Because they said show boshan, of course. I guess they're not all trucks. I mean, I guess the 22,、uh, I, sh I shouldn't say trucks. I should say vehicles because we don't really know that they're all trucks. I'm sure, I'm sure they were not all trucks.、Uh, and then we have a subject marker. Got. Shutsu do shite masu ga. They were moving. They were dispatched, yes. There we go. Shutsu do shite masu ga. And I've separated them as much as possible so you guys can determine where, what is pronounced, how, you know. What for? Well, let me show you. So, for example, this is shutsu, so I got it separated there. Shutsu. And this is do, so it's separated there. And we also learned that in, in the, the zoo lesson, remember, do butsu? Do means moving, right?、Uh, we also learned this kanji from deguchi, remember?、Uh, exit. So, a lot of these kanjis are, 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 you will, if you, want, if you keep watching these lessons, you will just you will recognize these kanji and say, oh yeah, that was in the last lesson. So, anyway. Shitsu do shite masu ga, they were dispatched.、Mm. Uh, shukka, fire breaking out. Again, we have the same shu, coming out, deru, right? Ka is the same ka from kayobi, which is Tuesday. For those of you who are studying,、uh, you, if, you're, if you're a beginner student, you should know kayobi or Tuesday. I'll put that in parentheses. Kayobi. So this is. Oops, Kayo B is Tuesday. Okay. Jiroku jikan, 
16時間、16時間、いや、16 hours。そう、1時間、1 hour。2時間、2 hours。And this is 16時間、16 hours。近く、close to。So close to, close to 16 hours。たった、have passed。Yeah. There are many other words that mean tata,、uh, stand up, he stood up, tata, but this is a different tata, have passed. Genzai mo, even now, genzai means present, present or current. Even mo, even. So even now, genzai mo, chinka, putting out、uh, ni wa. This indicates direction of action. Itatte masen, we have not done the putting out yet. So the, the fire has not been put out, even now. You know what I did not do, which I will do now,、uh, just to help you guys out with this. This is a long but lesson. So have some patience. But I, I'm, ho I'm hoping you'll get, to, you'll get to understand this whole thing at the end. So let's go through this again, okay? So, Kajigatta no wa komakishi kawa chi ya shinde ni aru kunimori kagaku no kojo de. Uh, Let's stop there that sentence and I'll type it out for you because we're going to go slowly for those of you who are really, you know, trying to learn something here. So, Kaji ga atta no wa, and of course, it's actually ha. This, kind, this hiragana here, of course, is ha, but when you put it in a sentence as a subject marker or topic marker,、uh, topic marker, sorry, it becomes wa.、Uh, komaki, I'll capitalize komaki、uh, because it's in a city. Komaki shi, kawa、uh, chi ya shin den ni aru kuni, and this is again another proper noun, kuni mori kagaku. This is the Kurimori chemistry plant. No kojo、uh, de. And this,、uh, we already, we've already run out of space here. So, what I'm going to do to make this easier for you is、um, to cut this here, right? And separate this here. Yes. I'm going to cut this here so you guys can see what's going on here. Or maybe I should do it this way. Yeah, I'll put the, kind, I'll put the letters right above it so you can see that, okay? We're, we're making the lesson here as we speak. We're going to make this lesson. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to move this over here. I hope I got this in. What? We're going to call Joe with it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, call Joe with it, comma. Kyo, gozen, niji, goro. Okay. There we go. And we'll blow that up a little bit. Okay, you'll see what I'm doing in a minute. You'll, see, you'll get it. You'll get it. Don't worry. Hold, hang in there. Gabmate, hang in there.、Okay. And this is no way where this is all going to fit in one line. So let's break it down. Let's just break this in. Let's break this up a little bit. Yeah, that'll be easier. Okay. So there we go. So you can read it along. Read along with me. Okay. Okay. San Gai. Sankai? Sankai?、Uh, Sankai? Sankai? Is that Sankai? Sankai? Now I'm confused. Is this Hangai or Sankai? Sankai date. Sankai. Ikai, Nikai, Sangai. Sangai date. No. Kojo. No. Ni. Kai. Bu. Bun. Kara. You know, when you study this, so when you do something for a long time, you start. Questioning your pronunciation. Like if you say apple like a hundred times, it's like, is that really a word? Apple, apple, apple. Sangai date. I believe that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've lost my confidence. Have、hey, you got it? Ikai, nikai, sangai. That's right. Okay, that's right. <laughs> I doubted myself for no reason. Thank you. Okay, that's、uh, Maggie Sensei over there. Okay. He, whoops. And then we have he ga dete iru to. Okay, and let's blow this up so it's easy for you to read. There we go. Okay. There we go.、Oh, there we go. Okay. And. Kara. Shobo ni. 
通報がありました。And again, we'll blow that up there and blow that up all the way there. And let's go slowly. So let's look at this again now. Ready? Okay, so, Kaji gatta no wa, Kaji gatta no wa, Komakishi, Kawa, Kawachi, Kawachi Yashinda ni aru, Kunimono ka, Kunimori Kagaku no Kojo de, Kyo Gozen Nijigoro, Sangai datte no Kojo no Nikai Bubun kara, Higa detteru to, Higa detteru to, Tori gagatta hito, Kara, so there, so what's, let's, what's the sentence here? Okay, let's see. Um, there was, um, what is that? Someone, a, a report? There was a, yeah, there was a report. Oh, no, I know. What's that? A passerby, a passerby reported a fire uh, at the, uh, a fire. Let's see. Uh, reported fire coming out of uh, coming out from part of the second floor, right? Second floor of a three-story three-story factory. Of the Kunigo, Kunimori uh, chemical chemical factory plant plant maybe instead of factory we'll turn it into plant sounds a little more natural right natural plant at around at around uh, Goro around at around 2 a.m. right um, in and then we got to do all this in this. And then we just put the location in Kawachi Yashinden in Komaki City. In Komaki City. Chiri City. City. There we go. And where is that? Um, there was a fire. The fire, well, but the, the first sentence is kind of dropped here. There was a fire. Oh, a reported a fire. A passerby reported a fire. Ah. Um, when I guess we we gotta assume he saw flames coming out from a um, from part of the second second floor of a three-story factory, three-story building. Three, well, no, I guess it's a building is a factory right? of the Kunimori Chemical Plant at around 2 a.m. in Kawashi uh, Shinden in Komaki City. Okay, there we go. That's the first part. Uh, show, let's go this part and cut it up a little bit uh, so you can see it. Uh, let me see. Okay, I'll just cut it up like this so you can, we can, um, yes, okay, there we go, that should give you enough space, okay, so, shobo sha nado niju ni dai, shobo sha nado niju ni dai ga, right, and this is, in this part, shobo sha nado, Oh, so um, fire engines, etc. 22. So 22 fire engines, etc. And other vehicles. 22 fire engines and other vehicles. Uh, we're dispatched. Shukin, shukin shite masu ga. And let's put this down there. Oh, uh, shukin. No, no, shudo. I'm sorry. Shutsudo. Shutsudo shite masu ga. Uh, shuk, uh, shuka. Is that shuka? Shuka kara? Let's cut that down. It's a little bit too big there. For there. there we go. Right. Shuka kara. Since the fire broke out, juroku jikan, juroku jikan, chikaku jikan. Not chikan. Chikan is perfect. Jikan. Um, chikaku jikan. Uh, tatta. Have passed. Genzai mo. Even now. Uh, so, although, basically, Genzai, even now. Let's put this up here. Juroku jikan chikaku tatta genzai mo. 
want to say tataga, but no. Chinka ni wa itatte imasen. Um, chin, oh, chinka, not chica, chinka. It feels, it feels like Spanish to me. Chinka, chinka tu madre. But that's, that's, that's a different language. Okay. Chinka ni wa itatte imasen. We have not been able to extinguish the fire. So they, they have not been able to extinguish the fire, even though 16. So um, 22 fire vehicles, etc., were dispatched um, since the fire broke out about 16 hours ago. But the fire has still not been uh, extinguished. Okay. Uh, about 16. Uh, let me see. 22 fire firefighting vehicles. What do we call them? Firefighting vehicles. Firefighting vehicle. Well, instead of saying, I think etc., which sounds weird in English. Anyway, 22 firefighting vehicles were dispatched uh, close to 16 hours ago. Since 16 hours since the flames, um, since the fire started, since the fire broke out, since the fire broke out, but the fire has yet to be extinguished. Okay, that's basically what happened, right? Okay, here's the last part here. Mata and uh, let's see. Shouka katsudo o shiteita firefighting. Um, yeah, firefighting activity. So basically, firefighting. So, gojui uh, site, a 51 year old no danse otoko. Uh, otoko. Danse shoboshi means a male firefighter. Ga migiyashi, right foot, ni, indicating where direction, uh, in his right foot. Kega, he has injured his leg. Oshite, he injured his leg in his right foot. And at the hospital, he's being treated. Teate o ukemashita, so he's being treated at the hospital. So let me see. Uh, I guess, I guess, and, um, well, I guess you wouldn't say it in English. No, mata means is basically in addition to that or... Well, I guess we say in addition. Uh, furthermore, how about that? That might be it. Furthermore, furthermore, a 51-year-old, yeah, a 51-year-old male fire uh, firefighter. Uh, let's see. Injured his uh, sustained, probably sustained injuries to his right leg. If you want to be a little bit more formal, sustained injuries to his right leg as he was fighting uh, the fire, and was and is being treated and received well ukemashita past tense and received uh, and was treated and was treated at a hospital. I guess in English we, we would say nearby hospital, but in this case it doesn't say nearby, just as hospital. Okay, let's go back and look at that. Ready? Mata Shouka Katsu Do Katsu Right? I'll blow this all up later. Go. Numbers are a little bit tricky. It's it's goju ichi, but if it's an if it's a an age, you would say goju isai. So isai nisai sansai. It depends on uh yeah. Anyway, numbers and counters in Japanese are a little bit tricky. So it's kind of a really elementary um, beginner's lesson. But um, take my word for it. If it's fifty one years old, it's goju isai. Goju isai. Ah. No, danse. Shoboshi. Firefighter. Ga. Uh, subject marker. Migi. Ashi. Right foot. Ni. In his right foot. Kega. Injury. O. Shite. He injured his right leg. He sustained injuries in his right leg. Byoin. At the hospital. De. De is at. So, at the hospital. Uh, te. Atte treatment. Te atte o uke mashita. Uke mashita. I guess I this a lot. I don't know. Uke mashita. Yeah, past tense. Okay. 
Yeah, so let's blow this up here so you can see it clearly. Kanji, sometimes kanji takes up very little space, but the English takes up a lot of space. So it's kind of hard to put these all together, but yeah, you get the idea. And we're going to listen to it one more time. And we're going to listen to it three times. The good news for you is if you are a really elementary student, this should really help you uh, with listening. But you got to put the time in. So if you're still with me, it's amazing. Please leave me a comment, by the way, if you're still with me. <laughs> I'm still with you. I'm, and I'm 30 minutes in. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is a long one. Uh, but I think it's going to be helpful, right? And just a minute. Oops. There we go. We're almost there. I'm going to scroll through it and we're going to listen to it again. Ready? Here we go. Okay, and I'll just blow this up so you can see it a little bit. Okay. Let's listen to it again. Ready? I'll try to... I, I do have... You'll see. Keep st Stay with me, okay? Okay, I'm going to turn off the um, mic here so you can listen to the audio on the computer.火事があったのは小牧市河内屋神殿にある国森科学の工場で今日午前2時頃3階建ての工場の2階部分から火が出ていると通りがかった人から消防に通報がありました消防車など22台が出動していますが出火から16時間近く経った現在も鎮火には至
Okay, get to okay, go, okay, be only, uh, here we go. Dance, uh, yeah, okay, here we go. And this is that part, this is the vocabulary for the man part, okay? The man getting injured, the firefighting getting injured part. And I'll just put a little space there, I'll put a little indicate, okay? So this is the part about the done, okay, about the uh, male firefighter. Hang in with me, hang in there, hang in there, we're almost, we're almost at the end there, okay. Here we are. Okay. So, Dante Shoboshi, male firefighter, got Migiashini on in his in the right leg. Kega Oh, I didn't put the Kega So, uh, oh, where's the, uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Kega injured his leg. Oops. Injured his leg, his right leg. Or suffered an injury in his right leg, technically, right? Buying debt at the hospital, right? At the hospital, Tate Okimashita was treated, received treatment. We'll just do keep it easy, was treated, okay? So there's your vocabulary. Let's watch it again. Now, I got some good news for you. If we watch, um, let me show you something pretty cool. I've got the original video. Uh, where is it? On YouTube, which I will link, of course, at the top there. And check this. Uh, oops. Check this out. All oh, this is my face. Hi. Nice to see you again. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you the original there. And you know what you can do on YouTube is you can um, change the speed, right? So, let me see here. What I'm going to do here is play this. Yeah. I'm going to play this big here. And over here on the right, you can't see me, but I'm going to change the speed here. What I've done here is change the speed to 20, 1 25th of its original speed. Make it really slow. So, 75% slow. I'll play it really slow, and I'll play it faster and faster until it's normal speed. Okay? Ready, guys? Let's do it. Okay. Uh, oh, you actually can see my face because this, okay, i got to move this down then just a minute. Maybe that's better. Can you see? Is that better? Yeah. Okay, I think you can see that now. Okay, let's do it again. Ready? Here we go at one at seventy five percent the original speed. Okay, that's the first time. Now we're going to increase the speed to 50%, okay? Which is twice as fast as we just heard it, but it's still pretty damn slow. Ready? Let's do it again. Okay. 
火事があったのは小牧市河内屋神殿にある国森科学の工場で今日午前2時ごろ3階建ての工場の2階部分から火が出ていると通りがかった人から消防に通報がありました消防車など22台が出動していますが出火から16時間近く経った現在も鎮火には至っていませんまた消火活動をしていた51歳の男性消防士が右足に怪我をして病院で手当てを受けました How was that? A little bit faster, right? But still quite doable, I think. Let's do it again. This time, let's increase the speed to 75% of the normal. Okay? Ready? Here we go. Hang in there. And here we go again. Ready? <clears throat> ま、た消火活動をしていた51歳の男性消防士が右足に怪我をして病院で手当てを受けました。I'm going back and listening to this, and it sounds like you said 三回、一回二回三回、三回三回、三回だって、maybe it's 三回だって、but now、uh, let me see, I don't know if Japanese counter for floors. 一回二回三回 There it is, here it is, Puni Puni Japan.、Uh, this place. Oh, you gotta watch the whole thing, damn it. It's san kai, it is san kai. She must have misheard. Yeah, I, that's, yeah, I was wrong. It's san kai, not san kai. Well, what did I write? Let's go back. San kai, no, san kai, excuse me. San kai. Okay, well, there you go. I make mistakes. I am a moron. I learn now. So sometimes, yeah, even I make mistakes. Of course I do. Of course. Let's do it again. This time we're going to do it at full normal speed. Ready? We are kind of graduating in a way. Ready? And I knew when I was listening to it, I thought that sounded funny. It's hard to tell when something's distorted like that in a really slow. Ready? Here we go. ま、消防車など22台が出動していますが、出火から16時間近く経った現在も鎮火には至っていません。また、消火活動をしていた51歳の男性消防士が右足に怪我をして病院で手当てを受けました。Wow, that is super fast here.、Yeah. And just, 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 just for fun, guys, I'm going to put it up to、um, the 125, a little bit faster than normal. Now, that was pretty fast, right? A little faster than normal, see if we can hear it, just for fun, okay? Why not? We've gone this far. Here we go. 火事があったのは小牧市河内屋神殿にある国森科学の工場で今日午前2時ごろ3階建ての工場の2階部分から火が出ていると通りがかった人から消防に通報がありました消防車など22台が出動していますが出火から16時間近く経った現在も鎮火には至っていませんまた消火活動をしていた51歳の男性消防士が右足に怪我をして病院で手当てを受けました警察によりますとこの Wow, that's pretty fast, huh?、Um, I'm not going to go, we could go on and on, but I think,、uh, I think you've had enough. <laughs> anyway, long ass lesson. I hope it was useful for you.、Um, that's how listening is improved.、Okay? You got to go through it again and again and again. I encourage you all to try it. If you got this far in the, in the video, 
um, right third floor. Third floors are hard. Right that. That'll, that'll let me know that you got this far. I don't expect a lot of people have gotten that far. But anyway, I do hope you learned something. Um, I like doing videos like this. They, as you can tell, they take quite a bit of time, not just to film, but also to um, to prepare. And you got to check things up, you know, because you know, although I've been here a while, I do make make the occasional mistake, and I will. I've got to look things up. Uh, I often like to learn from these videos myself, so I always I always like to tell you what I learned from this video. In this case, I, nothing was really new, but they're not words that I often use. Right. This is a tough one. Chinka ni wa itatte masen. Uh, that has not yet, be, yet been extinguished. But the word itatte masen is kind of a tough word. You probably won't see it again for a while. And it means it hasn't reached or haven't, hasn't been accomplished. Here's a really cool, I think a really useful word is torikagatta hito. Um, yeah, so just a passerby. That's a tough one too. But anyway, kojo is a must word, a factory, of course. Um, Nijigoro about two o'clock. The goro is really basic. There's a lot of you can you can use your own um, common sense and look through this and find the words that you think are basic. If your goal is really to learn Japanese, however, to really be uh, fluent someday, then you need everything. You need everything eventually. So study everything. Take notes. If you if you remember twenty percent, that's great. You do another video, another lesson. to remember twenty percent? Those twenty percent pile up on each other, and eventually, you know, you're fluent. Okay, it takes a while though. Anyway, hang in there. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you again in the next video.